Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another wish list. This is going to be for the spring sale that should be at the top of next month, like the beginning to middle of next month. Um, I will leave all the information down below. I don't know the exact date at the time I'm filming this, but it's usually around the beginning to middle of the month. 15% off, I believe, for everybody. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll probably do a whole post about it as the time gets closer. But yeah, I wanted to share with you guys all my top picks. Now, I will first say that Sephora redesigned their website maybe a few weeks ago. I don't know how anyone else feels about it, but it's absolutely horrible to me. I think for a whole two weeks, I couldn't navigate the site easily. This new setup, oh, you guys wanna see me as a baby? Hold on. Oh, now I can't get, oh, that's me as a baby. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, it's just really hard to navigate, but um, we're gonna do as good of a job as we can. You guys know I always start by looking at the newest items in Sephora, and I'm gonna start with makeup. Okay, now, <laughs> these palettes might make it into my uh, anti-haul video next month, but I'm just really not into this. I was watching uh, Tiffy J's channel, and. <laughs> And I didn't even know this palette was called Make Believe in Yourself. Like, really? <laughs> um, the colors are just not appealing. And when I saw swatches, they don't look brown girl friendly. So, moving on. Um, yeah, I guess the whole collection is called Tarte Make Believe in Yourself. Not into it. Okay, this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. You know... <sighs> I feel kind of indifferent about lip palettes. I think they're great if you are a professional artist or or anything like that, but I just see myself getting that all messed up. So we'll be skipping that. I did see this Benefit California blush yesterday on Instagram. It looks pretty. I have a lot of gold and pinks if you've seen my spring and summer blush collection, but like how cute is that? So cute. I don't know if it will show up on me, but I'm willing to try. <laughs> Now, what's new about this eyeliner? I'm not sure. But I have seen some people swatch this. This is the eyeliner that I love the most. It works really well for my oily skin, so I wouldn't be opposed to getting a new color for spring. Not at all. Mm, anything else? The new Too Faced highlighters. Tina Marie did a video on these and said they are really nice. That looks very, very interesting. Um, I don't know if I've talked about this. I probably will talk about it in my uh, anti-haul. I'm not gonna put one in my basket. I really only believe that you need two, maybe three highlighters. I just don't think that you can tell much of a difference between a golden, a champagne, and another one, you know? So I'm not really into highlighters like that. I have been seeing these all over Instagram and YouTube. I know that they're probably all sponsored, but I would be willing to try these. They look very nice. They have good ratings and I'm kind of into metallic lips. So that one is called Mauve Squad and it's a metallic mauve, which is pretty because it's still kind of neutral, but you still get that little pop of shimmer. Oh, look at this Sephora eyeshadow palette mixology that looks interesting that looks like a really cool concept i'm not really into sephora shadows but it would be interesting to see what that formulation is like and how the colors wear now these makeup forever matte lipsticks i always look at them probably in every video they're so pretty uh i just know that i don't need any lipstick so i'm not even gonna wait for that to load this Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Mist doesn't really have good reviews. We can skip on that. This Kevin Aquan, um, is this a blush? Oh, it's a highlighting. It's kind of interesting, but I feel like that's a product that wouldn't show up on my brown skin. What else? <laughs> this is definitely going in my anti-haul. Christian Louboutin has mascara for $70. How and why? Why? <laughs> okay, let's see. Now, I did make a list of things I want to buy, but that was a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything new that came out. 
This bronzer looks really nice. Oh, and they even have different shades. Ooh, dark to deep. You see how like, like the tone of that? I'd be interested to see how that looks. It kind of looks like a mineralized skin finish from MAC. That's interesting. Mm, I did want to try this Lancome uh, new concealer. Uh, now I would use this for covering acne scars, so I would probably get 420N because I'm around like a 450. And I'm really not seeing anything else that I want. This palette is kind of cute, but you know what? It really reminds me of the Laura Mercier Artist Eye Palette in a smaller uh, packaging. That would be really good for traveling though. And these are like all the types of colors that I love. These dark colors. It almost <laughs> reminds me of the modern renaissance as well. Okay, yeah, I think all this other stuff I've seen. Let's go to skincare. Ula Henriksen came out with a new skincare line a couple of weeks ago and I went and tried it in store and it's really, really nice. So I will definitely be picking that up during the sale next month. It's all for oily skin. Ooh, what is this? Sephora Collection Gel Mask, a quenching mask for ultra hydrated skin in just five minutes. At only $20, that is definitely worth trying. Like I said, I really do like Sephora skincare. I just don't like that they always have new things coming out. So if you really get attached to something, it could be gone. <laughs> That's the one bad thing. I haven't tried anything by Tatcha. I just feel like it's a gimmick. I don't know, I just feel like some things, brands just come out to get you to spend money and they're not like, it's not something that they spent months or years on researching. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just too critical. I don't know. Oh, I'm really interested in trying these uh, Dr. Jart rubber masks. You know, I don't think I've ever heard of anything like it. And it just looks so cool. So I will definitely add the firming one and the brightening one. It probably looks so cool on. And the hydration. Oh, this is a cute little set. This Caudalie Vino Source Hydration Helpers. I've always wanted to try this line and look at the little canister. For $53, you can't beat it for what you're actually getting because Caudalie is pretty expensive. I saw one of my friends post about this yesterday, this new fresh rose toner. That whole line of Fresh, like I even have something sitting up here on my vanity from Fresh. They're just so expensive. So it's a cleansing toner infused with rose petals to remove impurities, refine the appearance of pores, and soften skin. I kind of feel like this would be beneficial, but don't all toners kind of do that? I'm going to add it to my basket, but you know, this is just a wish list. There's no way I would spend that much on a toner. Absolutely not. <laughs> Ooh, a new Dr. Brandt retinol skin, a retinol serum. A potent yet gentle nighttime retinol serum that promotes scale, promotes scale. That promotes cell renewal. That sounds like something that's interesting and worth trying. So the new Ula line is called, it's something about balance. Oh, now they sell Le Mer. I believe that's how you pronounce it, at Sephora. I just don't think I'm, I'm not ready for this. Number one, you know, I'm in my late 20s, but I don't necessarily think I need to be spending upwards of $300 on skincare. My max is like 150. Maybe if I turn like 40 or 50, but at this age, I just don't think it's worth it. But I have heard nothing but good things and looking at all the reviews, it looks like it's a great line. I'm just not there yet. Okay, so this is the line. It's called the Ula Henriksen Counter Balance Oil Control Hydrator. I tried this in store when I went with one of my friends and it feels really nice and lightweight. I also want to try the cleanser. My favorite cleanser uh, for the summertime is the Origins Checks and Balances, but it seems like that one is very similar. And then this is something new that I found out about from you guys. This new Bosha Subaki two-part gel and cream deep hydration moisturizer. This would be really good if you're having like a skincare reaction and you need something to just really balance and hydrate your skin. Um, and it has antioxidants in it. That sounds lovely. Don't know if I would necessarily use that all the time in the summertime, but as something to keep in my collection, I think that would be nice.
and I think, oh, so we need to talk about this. <laughs> this brand Farsali. I see this all over Instagram and you guys know how I feel about these kind of Instagram brands. I just, it's just so gimmicky to me, but they actually have pretty good reviews. I know I always see makeup Shayla talk about these uh, serums or elixirs, but honestly, a lot of the things, no, probably 100% of the things she shows on her Instagram are all sponsored posts, whether she's hashtagging ad or not. I can just kind of tell in the language that somebody uses, whether it's an honest opinion or a sponsored review. And I feel like most of the time when you have a pretty good following and you always talk about skincare, you're being sponsored. Uh, maybe that's just me being paranoid. I don't know, but it looks like it does have good reviews, but I'm not here for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not here for it. That's probably going to go in my anti haul. <laughs> but um, there's nothing really else here. I think this is all stuff I've seen. Now there is one um, fragrance that I tried in store. It is by, I don't know how to pronounce this, Atelier, Atelier, I believe. I really wanna try this, it's called Clementine. It smells so nice and fresh. I actually got uh, one of my friends a set of these for her birthday, um, and I just shipped it right to her. I didn't smell it, but Clementine smells really, really nice. So I definitely wanna try that. So I thought I had a list in my phone, but I guess I did not. So let me just see what's new in fragrance. You guys know I'm all about fragrance and I will definitely be picking up a fragrance next month in the sale. I've heard that this uh, Mugle Angel Muse is really nice. Uh, we'll add that. Uh, Paco Rabanne Olympia smells really nice. Let's go ahead and add that. Oh, here's an Alien O Sublime. Ooh, this sounds nice. Mandarin, Jasmine, and Cashmere. Cashmere? I don't know. <laughs> but that sounds really nice. Okay, so I think that is all I'm going to add to my cart. I felt like I had a whole list of things I wanted to talk about in my phone but I just can't find them. But I have 20 things in my basket, so let's take a look. Yeah, these are all, these are all the things that um, I'm interested in. Uh, this is not to say that I'm gonna get these because my list for next month's sale is very condensed. I'm just, I'm not really into buying a lot of makeup. I feel like I kind of have all the makeup I need, but these are new things that are on the market that I'm definitely interested in. So I hope this video gave you some recommendations and let me know what you plan on picking up next month. I will definitely be doing a haul as well as an anti-haul of all the things that I'm not here for. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.